and I just got back from the farmer's market and I was like, I just bought this, I bought this, I'm going to do soups, I'm going to, dr- I'm going to freeze it, you know, I'm going to meal plan. Mm-hmm. And my friend was just like, yeah, you go to the stores and all of the frozen food is gone. All of like the unhealthy stuff, you know, that, that stuff that we go towards when we just like need comfort, but at the mm-hmm. end it doesn't really make you feel better. That's all missing. And she was just saying how, how it's ironic because it's like, it just puts into perspective how important our health really is, mm-hmm. you know, but like when it really matters the most is, you know, this is like, this is like what's going to be shining a light on, you know, how we can take better care of ourselves and whether we really are in the times that are really important, you know, so. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so much yes to that. I'm just feeling this uh, total wave of like, okay, everything's going to slow down, which we've really needed, right? Yeah. All of us have been like really on the brink of, or in full adrenal fatigue for so long. And now it's like, we're just being forced to really um, like relax. And yeah. if we can, you know, like first we got to like calm the nervous system and like let any anxiety or fear move through our body and then really look at, okay, well now we are going to have this extended period of time and we don't know what that's going to look like in terms of how long, but we get to be a little bit more mindful on how we feed ourselves. We get to have the time to create those meal plans. We get totally. to have the time to do like at home training with now who people who are coming on, you know, we have like a yoga flow session. We've got strength training. That's going to be awesome. virtual. We have morning guided meditations we're going to be doing. And it's like, it's, I'm, I'm actually excited. <laughs> Well, I am. I feel very happy and very lucky and grateful that you know you've included me and thought of me, of including me in the conversation. You know, because oh. there's so much information that I'm learning right now, and I'm so happy to share it. You know, mm-hmm. including me in the conversation. You know, because oh. there's so much information that I'm learning right now, and I'm so happy to share it. You know, mm-hmm. and it's exciting. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy because, you know, I'm still working in restaurants and nobody knows whether we're going to have a job in two days. People are getting laid off. Like everything is just so, it's so easy to just tap into the, into fear with like the unknown Mm -hmm. and especially like with this like collective fear, Mm -hmm. you know, because we're just tuning forks, you know, Mm -hmm. and it's like if we're all operating in this like frequency, it's so easy to kind of just catch that but like calming down and just really taking care of yourself and that's been that's been kind of nice I'm like oh I've just been taking so many baths (laughs) it's amazing I know I know so good okay so you were already talking so I actually already started recording because what you were saying is like (laughs) perfect. So for those of you who are going to be watching this later, uh, my name is Shannon Morse and we are part of the Green Door Life and I've invited my lovely girlfriend, Caitlin Shaner, to come on. Hi. Caitlin, you are right now in school, yeah? Yes. Yes. So give us a little rundown of what you're going to school for. So um, right now I am in school for acupuncture. I'm about two thirds of the way through. So in California, to become a licensed acupuncturist, that includes um, very a vast knowledge of herbalism, um, body work, um, acupuncture, body yeah, body modalities. So, and lots of integrative medicine. Yeah. So my school, my school was originally a Japanese school, and over the last ten years years they've been transitioning more towards integrative medicine Mm -hmm. um so yeah it's been it's been a really great experience um yeah (laughs) beautiful and when I was so Caitlin and I take trapeze together or sometimes she's more of like hoop modality right um but we got to be in class on I think what what was probably one of the last days at circus center that their class was open yeah because I think the next day it closed and we were like being awkward about hugging each other. We were like, are we hugging? Are we not hugging? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, Caitlin, perfect. Because 
I know that when I was going to school for whatever it was, like Pilates, personal training, any sort of like trauma psychotherapy that I've dived into as well, that um, when I was in it, I was like really in it and everything was so fresh in my mind. So I was like, oh, perfect. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I into Caitlin's fresh brain. <laughs> Um, yes, so much information. Um, sometimes it almost feels like too much information and it's just ricocheting, but, um, you know, it's, it's really when I am, when people are asking me about it and when, now that I'm in clinic and I'm treating people, it's like, it's all the rubber's hitting the road. And that's kind of what everybody would say once you get into clinic. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm happy to share the information that I have been learning. Um, I also have a really deep interest in um, uh, California, North American herbalism as well. Mm. Um, so I'm drawing from those, those places too um, because the, the Chinese herbs, I mean, it's just an ancient, very old tradition um, and they really have done a magnific magnificent job in taking care of, of those sources of information and really safeguarding it, you know, um, in a time when in Europe and people were being burned at the stake for, for practicing herbalism and medicine because it was a, a threat to the church, you know, people in China were learning how to use anesthesia with needles. So um, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool because now you know, with, with all of the amazing farming techniques that we've been exploring in Northern California, they've actually like safeguarded these, these traditions and it's all kind of coming back to one another. So yeah, anyways, I can go off on so many tangents and I don't want to, I don't want it to be like too crazy or anything like that, but um, yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> so good. It's amazing. I know there's, it's hard to like put this all like into a little box. Yeah. We'll, we'll do our best. Yeah, totally. So, uh, um, so I've been thinking, and um, I know that I shared with you because you had been asked, you asked me, um, you and Elena were asking me about, uh, about just like antiseptic things that we could do. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I was sharing the thieves recipe with you. Yes. Um, so I was going to, I was thinking about just kind of breaking those elements down and why why they're important and also just other herbs that I think are super supportive. Like even if this wasn't going on, it's just nice to have in your medicine cabinet um, and things that I'm recommending for my own family. So yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. All of that kind of what I asked for, from Caitlin, both um, at circus center and before we had this call was like, whatever you're doing for you, like, we want to know that stuff. <laughs> totally. Like, you know, whether if it's like baths or, you know, things that you're cooking up, like what you're putting in soups and you're being a little bit mindful about that stuff. But I love yeah. the thieves recipe because everyone's freaking out about, you know, antiseptic materials being out of stock. And then as we were talking, we're like, wait a second, you guys, like there's some real basics that have been around for so long that we can make at home. Yeah, and they actually absolutely. have like beneficial properties, right? Yes, absolutely. All right. Um, it's it's kind of it's so easy to tap into that fear, but you know, a lot of these things they're medicines that we're already using in our pantries. A lot of these things are already that things that people already have or that your grandmothers have recommended to you. Um, so I'm just gonna like break down some things so that you understand why they're important, and then maybe you can like load up on it a little bit more, you know. So yeah, perfect. Let's do it. <laughs> cool. So the thieves oil recipe. This was this has been around for a really long time, and there's a legend behind it that is basically during the Black Plague in Europe there are these people, there was like these group of people that were going around and breaking into the homes of sick people or people that had died. Right. Um, and they were fine. They were robbing people. Um, so they were thieves and they were caught by their local authorities and the local authorities were curious as to why they hadn't gotten sick. And so they would be wearing these handkerchiefs around their mouths and they would be dousing it in an essential oil blend made up of clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. 
And because they shared their recipe with them, they got a reduced sentence. And that's how the story goes. So my teacher, um, I, this is all information. Like, I just want to reiterate that this isn't supposed to take the place of any other information that's being put out there by health organizations. You know, um, like nothing is going to be better than washing your hands and not touching your face, you know? So my teacher is like, there's four things that you can do. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, wash your hands, and don't touch your face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just want to say like, you know, that is number one, but then these are also things that you can do to kind of help boost your immune system um, and to help also just like calm your spirit in this time because it is, it is easy to kind of feel like you're uncentered, you know? So, um, mm -hmm. so this oil, um, so I already said it's, it's a blend and it's 40 drops of clove. This is, so these are essential oils and essential oils on their own are very, very, powerful and strong and usually can cause skin irritation. So what I do is I'll take my essential oils and then I'll take another bottle and I'll blend it all in that bottle with the dropper. Right. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's when I'll add it to something that's been diluted. So you don't want to just use the essential oil alone. Um, you want to be diluting this, right? Cause this is going to be something that you're going to be spraying on your hands um, or surfaces. Mm -hmm. So, um, so with your, um, so it's 40 drops of clove and clove is a very, very powerful herb. Um, it's antimicrobial, it's an antioxidant, it's antifungal, it's antiseptic. It's like, it's a heavy hitter, right? And this is in Chinese medicine and in Western herbalism as well. So, um, this is a great thing to keep in your pantry, which most people probably already have, um, but we're talking about the essential oils here and that, that, that process is different because you're basically, when you're getting an essential oil, you're um, cooking it and then it's separating. So the vapors of that is what creates the water or like a hydrosol and then the oil is, is separated. So I don't know. Is this too meta? <laughs> is this like too big? Is this too much information? I didn't know that. Like keep yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so right. Okay. So cloves, amazing. It's going to be great. Also, if you do find that you have a cough, like what I would do is just like boil some water, get some cloves in there. If you don't have essential oil, if you don't have any of this, you know, like I would, um, there's other things that you could do and I can, I can dive into that later. Um, so the other, so you have 40 drops of the clove and then there's going to be 35 drops of the lemon essential oil. Lemon and citrus just in general are considered very invigorating. So we are, we always associate it with vitamin C, but the peel is actually where so many of the nutrients are. So, um, with the lemon, with the lemon oil, that's also antibacterial. And this is the time they were using it during the plague. And that was, a, that was the bacteria, right? That was infecting people, the bubonic plague. So, um, I mean, it makes sense why it was protecting them. What we're facing now is a virus that because it's coming from another animal, we have no natural immunity built into it, mm -hmm. you know, but none of these things are going to be hurting you, right? They're only going to be helping you. So, mm -hmm. um, so lemon oil is antiviral, it's antibacterial, it's detoxing, it's cleansing, it's great for sore throats, it prevents colds, um, and it's just really just such a beautiful invigorating um, herb. <laughs> also, if you don't have lemon oil, tangerine peel, it's also great. I don't know if it has the same antibacterial properties as lemon oil, but they are all um they're all like dispersing right so in our medicine we have we have ways of kind of diagnosing um presentations of disease and illness right mm -hmm. and um with the coronavirus that's something that's presenting as a damp illness so people are getting a lot of mucus they're getting um inflammation they're getting like heavy heads you know coughs um so the citrus, the citrus family is going to be good for kind of alleviating that dampness and kind of moving things around. Um, 
So with the thieves, there's also the 20 drops of the cinnamon oil. Um, and cinnamon is also, I mean, all of these are great. <laughs> I love cinnamon. Yeah, um, great. cinnamon is, it's everybody, you have it in your medicine cabinet. Um, it's, we all know it for, for, you know, the flavor of it, but it's like, you want to think of what you're tasting, how it's hitting you. So it's like, it's spicy, it's, it's moving, you know, so it's going to help break up all of that mucus. Right. Um, it's, also, it releases like achiness, um, and it is, um, gosh, it's just like that's it's like it helps your your immune system. It helps with circulation. It helps with your heart. It helps with blood flow. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, it's great. And then okay, so moving on. Um, also, it goes to fifteen drops of the eucalyptus oil. And eucalyptus is, I mean, it opens up your, your airways. It, uh, it's a bronchodilator. It's going to help you to expel mucus, you know? So like, even if you don't have a eucalyptus oil, like what I recommend to people, if they're not feeling well, I'm like, get some eucalyptus leaves, put that in the shower. Like mm -hmm. the steam with the leaves is just going to help open it up, you know? Um, so yeah, it's great. It's an expectorant. And that's what we say when to, um, an expectorant is something that's going to help you basically like break up the mucus and get that out of the body. Um, and then the last thing is 10 drops of rosemary oil. Um, rosemary is a very old herb in, um, European herbalism. They always say, or I think it was Shakespeare that said rosemary for remembrance. Um, because it's always been associated with helping the memory. Mm -hmm. um, but rosemary is also really amazing for stimulating um, the, circula the circulatory system. So again, something that's going to help you open up the air, the airways, help you breathing when you're feeling that, that dampness um, coming in. Um, also, one other thing, just going back to eucalyptus in my notes, um, it is also anti-inflammatory um, and all of these are really immune boosting. Um, just so, yeah. I If you have sage, sage is great. If you like, you know, if you don't have some of those things, sage can also be really great. So is thyme. Thyme also enhances immunity. So um, these are all just kind of things that we can take to, like if you don't have everything in here, maybe you have some tea tree oil. oil. Tea tree is great as well. Um, so that's the recipe. 40 drops clove, 35 drops of lemon, 20 drops of cinnamon, 15 drops of eucalyptus, 10 drops of rosemary. Um, and normally, and what my teacher had, had advised for what she would do is take 50% of vodka and then another 50% of aloe vera mm -hmm. um, and then adding the essential oils on top of that. But I think with the way that things are, mm -hmm. are now, um, and with so many unknowns, I really don't want to give information that could be potentially like, I, I don't, you know, it's like, do no harm, right? So I wanted to give like my, I'm going to put my two cents in. And I think that the best thing was probably to dial down that and to make it mainly vodka. So you're having um, that in and of itself is just going to be killing right. stuff. Right. So, and then adding the essential oils on top of that, you could add just like a little bit of aloe vera to help dilute it or some distilled water. But mm -hmm. I would, I would just probably make that like 10%, 15%, you know? And yeah. um, so all, so all of these, <laughs> sorry. So, so for all of these, so the recipe goes like this, right? So for each ounce of vodka that you're going to use, you're going to take your dropper. Once you blend all of those essential oils together, you're going to take your dropper and then you're going to add 10 to 12 drops into, into each ounce of vodka that you have. Mm. So this is going to make a really strong thing. If you have, this is going to be good, great for a hand sanitizer. Um, you can use this and like you can make your own wipes, right? So like getting paper towels, soaking that, um, and then wiping off doorknobs, counter surfaces. That's great. The only thing about this, because the essential oils are so strong, is this can be a little harsh 
on people that have very sensitive skin or children. So um, for for children and for their sanitizers, I would use five to six drops instead of the 10 to 12 drops. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Awesome. And I think we were talking about getting kind of like the recipe written out. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. And then yeah. like we can link to any of like the essential oil brands that maybe you really enjoy. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then we'll share that, that whole like thing with everyone, but I love that they get like the background through a, like a verbal explanation and like what they're doing and what to focus on and why. And then we'll get yeah. that, like, cool. Yeah, for sure. I'm sorry. I get so like, ah, there's so much information and I have a story or a little anecdote. So yeah. No, it's um, great. <laughs> so good. And like, this is the stuff. I think as you're talking, what the things that were just coming into my head were as I've been looking through, okay, what do I want to get at the farmer's market? Like what kind of um, vegetable Absolutely. herbs there? And then looking at what their purposes are really looking for, okay, why am I going to get this vegetable? So it's almost like we have the, this amazing medicine that's available to us from mother earth. And this is really an opportunity for us to get back to that. Yeah. And it, it really does have everything that we need. Antimicrobial, antibacterial. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's just um, so many of the, the pharmaceutical companies, they, they are looking at plants. You know, it's not like they're just coming up with these things just like willy-nilly. You know, they're looking at oh, well, how, what is that? You know, aspirin is coming from willow bark. Like mm. all of these things are, are constituents in it. So um, when you put these together, there, there's like a synergy there that's kind of enhancing it. You know, it's like a group of friends. And one of my teachers, like she's the best. I just love her so much. Um, and she has a great website. I'd be happy to share because there's information on there um, with like her own blog and her own special recipes. And she just loves the medicine so much, you know. Um, but she always like talks about herbs like they're her friends, you know. And she's just like, when you first meet them, it's like an acquaintance. And then you kind of get to know it better, you know, on like a one-on-one -on -one situation. And then they become your close friends. So, um yeah, it's, love it's that. really cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, because, yeah, I love that so much. Mm. <clears throat> so good. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. um, so I have some other, I have some other things that people could, that I have some other um, herbs to share um, or things that people can be picking up at their, at their farmer's markets so that I'd be happy to, to go into. Um, is that cool? Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, so for myself, um, something you know, when all of this kind of went down over the last couple of days, I've just been like, okay, what do I need to like? What am I low on? What do I need to stock up on? Um, and I, I also asked some of my teachers, you know, what their recommendations are. Um, so I'm just so happy to share this knowledge with everybody. Um, so my, if I was going to be, it's actually, okay. So I think if I had to choose reishi mushrooms is one of my top. Um, I get it in the little tincture bottle. Oops. Oh, let's see. Wait, oh, there it is. <laughs> so the tinctures are great because you can just add this to like a little like shot glass of water, just like a little dropper, right? Um, and those those are great because you're getting the benefits of the mushroom. If you're not able to find, you know, the, the fresh herbs or if you're not able to, um, yeah, if you're not able to find the herbs on your own or, or whatnot, um, the tinctures are great and they're sold at most health food stores, whole foods, you know, um, so... Um, reishi is an amazing mushroom. They call it the immortal, I, I believe it's called like the immortal, oh, flip, I forgot, the immortal <laughs> mushroom, the immortal mushroom, because it just has so many um, amazing enhancing properties. Um, so it boosts immunity, it lowers hypertension, it calms the spirit, which is really important, especially right now. Um, so this is going to help calm your, your, your um, nervous system. 
and it also helps with um, like strengthening the lungs. Um, so it gives your lungs a support, you know, so if you are coming into contact with these things and at least, you know, it's good to have that to, to, to build that up. Right. Um, reishi, um, I know like a lot of herbalists and mushrooms are finally getting some great, um, news coverage there's more stuff coming out about about the healing benefits of them because they are just such a treasure um that a lot of like we're still we're still discovering right but um cordyceps i know a lot of people cordyceps were kind of like the cool thing um about a year or two ago but the thing about cordyceps is it's a lot more difficult to find quality cordyceps mm -hmm. um so cordyceps are actually like a fungus that takes over this bug and um, you get more money for it when it's whole. So sometimes people, you know, they're, they're gluing it or they're pinning things together to kind of just make it seem like it's like the real deal. Um, but reishi is so much easier to grow. Like you can find it more locally, you know, so it's not as expensive um, and it's more available. So I, I think reishi is great. Um, I also like it in the granules. If you're able to find that, I recommend that. Sometimes I'll just put like a little teaspoon in my coffee in the morning and I'll enjoy it that way. But um, it's been a really, really great support. Um, another one that I love is astragalus. Mm. Yeah. This one is great. Um, astragalus is an amazing herb. Um, this one is also, it has some of the same effects as reishi, so it's going to help calm the spirit. It's also going to help with your, your, with your immunity. Um, this is a particular herb that's really great for a pear-shaped like body type. Um, mm. so, so not necessarily, I mean, and we're talking about like if you're using this every day, this is a great thing for people to have right now, for everybody to have just to boost your immune system. Mm -hmm. um, but this could be also good for like edema, right? So, um, so dealing with those kinds of things um, and water retention. Very nice. um, yeah. So one other thing, also American ginseng is great. Um, that's going to be cheaper to find than the Chinese ginseng. American ginseng is cold. Um, it's classified in our medicine as cold, where Chinese ginseng is warm. Um, American ginseng is also more, I mean, it's here, so it's, it's, um, what is it more local, more sustainable for us if you're not thinking in terms of like the shipping and all of that. But mm -hmm. what's really great about American ginseng is it helps with dry coughs. Um, and it helps also support the lungs yeah. too. And then you can also find this, um, in like a little tincture form too. So yeah, I have like my little tinctures. Um, rhodiola is an amazing herb too. I love rhodiola. And actually that was one of the first, the first flowers and first herbs that I started using to help. Um, it's a, it's a wonderful adaptogen. It helps deal with stress. It helps, um, with the cortisol. It helps like reduce the cortisol response when you are feeling like stressed out. And I discovered this when I was a waitress and doing the brunch shift on Sundays, which was crazy. <laughs> and I was like, I need something else because coffee isn't just going to cut it. And oh my gosh, why am I having a panic attack right now? Yeah. Um, but rhodiola is also that, that was just all of the, all of the people that I worked with by that, by the time I left, we would keep rhodiola in our, in our little aprons. Everybody had their own, and That's it was great. So awesome. <laughs> so awesome. I know. I was like, oh, yeah, I could definitely have some time in my life, and I need that one. Oh, totally. Absolutely. I mean, and that's the thing. We're, we're, this is, like, we've become so, like, used to and accustomed to living, living stressful lives. So when we're facing, like, this crazy pandemic, like, that just adds on to it. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> yeah, rhodiola, I highly recommend rhodiola. Um, and those are things that you can all pick up like at a, at a little, uh, health food store, um, or, um, something like that. Beautiful. One other thing also that I've got, 
And this is what I just bought the other day. I don't know if I have it. I think it might be in my purse. Is elderberry. Uh -huh. um, elderberry syrup is antiviral. So that's going to help support also your immune system. Um, that's a good thing to have um, if you have like for the common cold, common flu. So again, we're not talking necessarily about the coronavirus, but these are some things if you feel like you're getting those kind of symptoms anyways, mm -hmm. you know, it's nice to have that. Um, so that you can differentiate between like, okay, is this like, what is this? Right. Um, and it's just something nice to have in your medicine cabinet for, for cold and flu season in general. Beautiful. Um, yeah. So I was just going to go into farmer's market stuff that you could get. Oh cool. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Is yeah. this too much? No. Okay. I mean, people can like, we just give it all and they take what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Awesome. Um, so in terms of farmer's markets or also, I guess, like the dry goods section at your local herb store or, um, you know, health food store, nettle is wonderful. Um, and also mullen. So mullen, when we were having, um, you know, in Cal Northern California, we've been plagued with fires um, like every summer, right? So mullen... Um, the herbalist that I follow and whose advice I always love and turn to, <clears throat> mullen is usually one of the recipes that's that's always given, um, and it, that's because it helps also with expelling the mucus. So it's also an expectorant, um, and it it helps um, with bronchial congestion. It helps with allergies. It helps with asthma. It helps with chest colds. So mullen is something really wonderful to have. Um, and it's very common. It's, it's common in California. We're really lucky to live here because of all of the wonderful things that, are, that we could grow because of the climate. Um, oh, yes. So. so for people who don't know, what is mullen? So mullen is a leaf. Um, it's just like, it's just a little leaf. It's a dried leaf and you can find that, you can find that usually like at a health food store. Um, sometimes in a tea form, you can find that with the tea. So yeah, I would just be looking to see whether, you know, anything that has melanin, you know, that you're, you're helping your lungs. Yeah. Um, and then with nettles, it's just, it's kind of like the same thing except for, you're also getting the benefit of helping your anxiety mm. when you're just tired, when you're feeling overworked, when you're like just overloaded. Um, nettle is a wonderful, wonderful herb to have um, to help just kind of with your nervous system. Mm. It's also been in one of the books that I have, it's um, referred to also helping children with growing pains. Oh, um, cool. So yeah, really cool, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I was just like, I was just reading it and I, I had messaged my boss and I was like, Hey, just say, so you know, you know, cause she has, she has a little five year old and sometimes oh. he just up in the middle of the night with growing pains. And I was just like, Hey, I think nettle could really help him with that. So yeah. Um, let's see. <clears throat> so in terms of, um, Cinnamon bark, we already kind of went over cinnamon bark, um, but that's also something that you can kind of load up at, on at while you're at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, if you, and also if they have tangerine peel, tangerine peel is amazing. Um, not every store is going to have that. What you could do is just get your own tangerine peel and dry it. Mm -hmm. um, so I would get organic tangerines um, or citrus and then, I would dry that out um, maybe for like a week or two. So you don't want any moisture around that. You just kind of want it to, you don't want to hang it either. You want it to like be in a place where air can get, get through and then you can just like dice it up and use that as tea afterwards. Oh. Um, there are other recipes where you can use fresh tangerine peel um, and then you boil that um, for like about 20 minutes with cinnamon and then that can help with any kind of cough or chest cold. Right. Um, yeah. So just a couple more things. Um, and this is like at farmer's markets, um, fresh ginger and garlic. So oh, yeah. who doesn't have that? Right. Um, especially garlic. Garlic is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and it, it is it is supports the immune system it it helps support by um, with with the white blood cell production um, it's antibiotic it has so many nutrients like we're talking about potassium vitamin C a B um, selenium magnesium like it's amazing um, so I like I would just be and what I will be doing is just kind of loading up in garlic on my soups putting it in you know in my stir fries um, it's just it's so wonderful I'm also just gonna get some cloves so that I can pickle some too okay. um, and that won't be ready probably for like a, a couple of weeks but you know just like looking at more recipes where you can integrate garlic into your cooking is going to help support your immune system. Um, yeah. Absolutely. And your family. Yeah. And then fresh ginger is ginger is incredibly, incredibly amazing. It's, um, they call it, uh, they call it one of the three amigos and <laughs> there's like a term in Chinese medicine, the three amigos. So it's, um, dot it's, fresh ginger, and then it's also um, licorice. Um, and they call them that because they kind of harmonize other herbs so that they can work together. So it's like the mediator herb, right? But ginger is, it helps release those, those symptoms of like the achiness, the headache, the congestion. Um, it, helps with, it helps with like stuffy noses. It helps release all of that. Ginger yeah. also yeah. promotes sweating. So it's a diaphoretic. So if you're kind of like trying to break that fever, ginger is going to help you with that. Um, and it also, as we know, it helps with nausea and vomiting. So, I mean, at the circus center, when you're, when we're first learning how to spin, like usually somebody will have some kind of ginger because it helps you, it helps you with, it helps your stomach. So it helps, um, it helps kind of bring your chi downward um, and, and settle in. So um, yeah, it's very harmonizing. It's very powerful. Um, yeah, so I would just kind of be doing that. Even this when I'm like sick, if I ever feel like I'm coming down with something, I'll just like load up on garlic and ginger in my cooking, and then that kind of helps me, my, helps me kick it, you know? This reminds me of uh, what I use whenever I am like have anything, like colds, flu, like starting okay. congestion, is I'll make yeah. uh, fire water. That yes. Has boiled ginger, garlic, cayenne pepper, fresh lemon, and a little bit of honey to put in afterwards. Yeah, the fire cider is amazing. That kills you know? everything. <laughs> and it's good. It's good to have that and then start making it for the next season, you know? Um, yeah. Because you could just get your apple cider vinegar and put that in there, and then that way you have it. So if you feel like you're starting to come down with something, you can just like start loading up on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Fire cider is great. I totally forgot about that. And then you started talking about it. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I've been doing that for a while, like 20 years. Exactly. exactly. Like these recipes and these herbs aren't, aren't new. You know, we use them like every day, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we just don't really think about it. We don't think about why we use them, yes. you know. Um, totally. So the last one that I wanted to share with you is licorice. And I'm talking about licorice, like the root licorice, not necessarily, um, not the candy, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so licorice is, it helps. Oh, licorice is so great. Um, it, my, my father's been a smoker for, for as long as I can remember, you know. So obviously, like with everything going on right now, I have him in the forefront of my mind with like concern. But mm -hmm. I remember my grandfather buying my, my dad licorice because he heard that like chewing on it could help, could help with, with that. I mean, he still smokes, but, <laughs> but learning about these things and the properties and why, why they're important and helpful. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. You know, he knew that he knew it, but he didn't know, you know why, but yeah. it's cool. Absolutely. So, um, licorice helps with stopping coughs, um, because it helps moisten the lungs. Mm. Um, it's also very calming. So helping with the nervous system kind of settling down. Um, and it also helps with muscle spasms and pains, mm. you know, and we're talking about like menstrual cramps, um, muscle pains, um, 
So it, it supports your lungs by clearing, by clearing the lungs. It's also anti-inflammatory. It's antiviral. It relieves sore throats and it calms, um, calms stomach aches. So gin, uh, the only thing with licorice is because it is sweet. So you want to make sure that you're not doing too much of that. Mm. Um, but so many, so many of these wonderful herbal teas have licorice in there, um, as a kind of help soothe in it and make it taste better. Right. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> much great information. I just want to, so can we like get, get it all like written down? <laughs> yes, girl. Totally. I, did you get the email that I sent you before? I'll send another one. That's like nicer. Cause I, yeah, you got it. I didn't, I didn't get the email yet, but maybe for some reason it got missed somewhere. But maybe I just sent it to Elena. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'll send all of this, um, all of this info. Yeah, you got it. And then we'll share it with our peeps. Our yes, love community. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so, so much. This was amazing. So oh, much thank you for having me. Oh, yes. And I think we'll do this again. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. I would be I would I would be so honored to I'm really, really happy to share this information. I think it's really exciting. Um, you know, and it's nice. It's nice to have something to kind of, you know, like, look forward to. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And like to put our energy into something that's positive Absolutely. and helping somebody else. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, and it was it was like work. We had work yesterday, and and then there is this double rainbow because of the rain, and people are just like freaking out. But the double rainbow, like everybody just stopped what they're doing to go outside and take a look at it. So it's just like you know, like stepping outside and giving some time for yourself to just like go. Like luckily, I li I live by the beach, so I'm so blessed that I can just like go to the beach and go for a walk you know, but I'm kind of just like telling my own family, like, you know, get outside, go, go on, like, go take a hike. No, but you know what I mean? Like take some time so that you're not just like spinning your wheels indoors, you know? And, and like you said, like using this time to really decompress and take care of yourself and finding what those, what those self care practices really mean, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, I'm excited. And I'm, and then realistically, if this didn't happen, we wouldn't have been talking right now. <laughs> I know, right? It's so, so crazy. It really is. I just see so much like alignment in the midst of chaos. And yeah. it's funny, the, you know, Corona also means crown. Yeah. I just I know. feel like we're going to. And that's that spike thing, because I was like, that's so crazy. I know that we were talking about, you know, different shapes and, yes. and nature um, oh coming up for you. So, yeah, it's cool. Oh, it's so good. Okay, yeah. I'm going to sign off of this, and then we can talk afterwards. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, but thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you want to contact Katie, we might, instead of bombarding her with emails, we'll have her in the group. <laughs> you can like you know comment and ask questions and we're going to share all the information with everyone that watches later and yes. yeah this is like hopefully the first of many and we just get to keep sharing the knowledge yes, and absolutely super healthy absolutely i'm so i'm very happy to be here and thank you for sharing your community with me awesome. stay healthy <laughs> bye guys all right bye <laughs>